What's up my lovely Bumberinas and Bumberinas? What do we going to test out first is Cho. I pulled him a couple of weeks ago. I think I didn't make a video on him. I ruined him up like a new build. First off I want to test out the attack build. Like attack, attack, crit damage or attack, crit damage, attack. Then I'm going to test out HP, crit damage HP. Why? Because of his passive. Gains immunity against HP recovery disturbance effects and recovers 15% HP at the end of your turn. Also, the damage you deal will be increased according to your current HP. First off, people told me that it doesn't matter how much max HP he has, it's only scales with the amount of HP he has left. Like, if he has 100% HP, this passive will deal more damage. Uh, if you have 50% HP, you will deal less damage. This is like half true because um, if you if 100% of your damage equals 30k HP, you will deal more additional damage as if you have 100% uh, equals 15k HP. You will deal like the additional amount of damage will be doubled. That's what I heard. That's what people say. And on YouTube like current here or like some posts on reddit and I want to test out myself and see if he is I mean he's max skilled so yeah <clears throat> and like I said first off why don't I use like one fatal set and then energy set or something like this because I think it doesn't matter if you want to build Cho an attack or HP type monster you will always build him violent. I think no other rune set is good because you need the procs. If he doesn't proc, he will just stand there and do nothing. Like you can see, he has like no HP. It's 17k. He has a bonus 1.3 uh, attack and 10 additional speed. I mean, with crit rate leader or crit rate buff, you will have 100% crit rate and a little bit of crit damage. So, yeah, I would say let's get right into it. Okay, guys, let's see the damage of his first skill Dragon's Mind and with Armor Break and Attack Buff and Lucian Lead. So, he has more attack power. This is the attack type Chow. Let's put this on times one. Oops. Let's go 20k. Pretty okay. I mean, it's not overwhelming for first skill. And he is a HP type monster. He has really low base attack. I mean, 600 not something. It's nothing. So yeah. So we are now at the boss stage. Armored monster. And we're going to test out the damage of Justice. I mean, it would be better if Lucian had died. You could see like much more damage, but. Yeah, let's assume all your teammates live and you still want to see the damage of justice. Let's go. 38,000. Nearly 40k. I mean, he doesn't have the best runes. I mean, the slot 4 is a 5 star crit damage rune, not a 6 star. So I think with really good runes, he would do like 45, 50k. Which is pretty nice but he's not tanky like, I think he will fall like paper so yeah let's see what the HP chalk can do I changed my mind uh, I'm going to test all the hybrid build I didn't intend to but I'm curious if like Rakan the hybrid build will uh, come out with the best damage like today we're only talking about damage I don't care about the utility or something else I just want to show you guys uh, which build will deal the most damage and then you can decide if you want to show tanky with less damage or hybrid with I don't know what damage will come out I mean sure there are some special requirements if you want Cho to be a solo DB10 or solo Giants B10 monster then he has like special stat requirements but there are videos out there, go watch them. I mean, 
there's no point in repeating the stuff other YouTubers did do. So yeah, let's try chaw. I mean, let me show you his runes first. I mean, he has not. Uh, now he has 25k HP. He has a little bit less damage than before. I think like 400 damage less. About the same crit damage and more defense. The runes are the same by the blade. This rune didn't change. I switched this rune to HP. The crit damage rune is the same. And I switched this rune for a little bit more HP. So I sacrificed like 11% attack for HP. Okay guys, let's see the damage of his first skill. This hybrid jaw, jaw and I have Lucian Leader again. When I'm doing the HP chow, I will go for uh, HP leader, but I didn't want to go HP leader on this. Let's see, 15k. Like he lost 5k attack. I mean damage. Hmm. But he's like he like doubled his HP for it. Let's see what he can do with justice on the boss. Okay guys, finally my Bella got the fucking armor break off. Man, I had to redo the level <laughs> because Lucian killed <laughs> the dragon. <laughs> okay, now we have everything we need. Charles had full health. I mean, fuck the slow debuff, no one cares. Let's see how much justice can do. 28,000, 30k, it's like 10k less, 5k, 5k on the first skill and 10k less on the second skill, seems like uh, the max HP isn't really doing much for the damage, okay guys, let's see what HP, crit damage, HP Chow can do, okay, here's the HP Chow, it has 33k HP, about 1.1k attack, like 900 uh, defense, a little bit less speed, about the same crit damage, I mean like 5 or 9% more, and yeah, I think, let's get right into it. Okay guys, let's see how much the HP Chow can do, I mean, he got attacked, like he lost like 1% of his life or something like this. But yeah, let's still see how much Dragon Mites can do. 12,000. That's what? 3k less than the full, it, the, the hybrid build. And it's like the half of, nearly the half of the uh, uh, attack build. Now, let's see the damage of his justice. Sigmar died, I tried to keep keep him alive, but he has no runes. And yeah, so just with the it's not comprehensive anymore, but let's still try it. I mean, I saw it on one of the mobs on the first uh, wave and Justice did 23k. Let's see how much he can do on the boss. 27. I think without with Sigmar's alive it would do 23 so it's like the damage halved when you go the HP but I mean he's a lot more tankier I mean look he heals for 5k per turn which is really good so I think he's still a really good dungeon monster like this but yeah guys it's your own choice I if you want the YOLO chop go for it but try to keep him at least 20k HP I think less than that you won't be happy with him in arena because it's a single target nuka and I think uh, the HP crit damage HP chose the most annoying in defenses or and he will help you most in dungeons I mean that's my opinion I use him in my dragon's b10 run and it's really nice if the te team gets wiped out He's still there to clear the 
the dragon and yeah it, she does it pretty reliable so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed it like I said there are some more test videos uh, in the future and yeah guys stay tuned and see you